Boy, we have to increase this speed. We're only at 1.21. I have to change my current ISP because they no longer provide the service. So I'm going to stay with Quest or CenturyLink now. And I'm going to change my modem that's there in the center, which is hooked over here into the phone line. And that is currently 1.5. CenturyLink says I can go to 12.0, which I'm going to do, and they're sending me a modem. All right, we have our new modem in here. I have to open this box up, see what I have, and um, I hope it's as easy as they told me it's going to be. And we will see. Okay, I'm going to have some instructions in here. Alright, so in the envelope I have um, an activation letter, which I'm, they asked me to keep, and an installation guide. And this looks like the modem itself. Looks like a power cord. Phone line filters. Ethernet line and a phone line. So we'll just set these aside, and I'm going to read some of the instructions first. See you later. All right, I have to get under here to unplug the power that's to the current modem. After I do that, then I'll be ready to install the new one. Okay, this is the old modem. I'm going to just set it aside for now. Okay, step one are line uh, filters. I don't need these because I already have filters at all the lines currently, so we'll just set that aside for now in case we might need them later. Okay, now step two is just tells me to plug in the power cord and make sure we have power. So I'm going to take the power cord out and plug the modem in. Okay, the uh, new modem is plugged in. I'm just going to set it down for a second and see what my next instruction is. Okay, step three is connect the modem to the outlet and they've given me a green wire to use and it looks a little heavier duty than the one I'm currently using so I'm going to switch this out. Okay, we're going to plug this green phone wire in. plug the other end into the motor. Okay, now step four is to uh, take the Ethernet cable and uh, connect the computer to the modem. I already have an existing Ethernet one to the computer. I'm going to use that first. All right, now I'm going to plug in the yellow Ethernet cord in. Okay, we'll wait a while. Oh, I may run into some trouble because step five now is online installation. The screen has come up and I'm just going to follow the instructions on the screen. Okay, we're going to go next. Okay, it says your modem is being configured to connect to CenturyLink's high-speed internet and it gives you a running total. Well, it brought me to the legal agreement. I can save it as a PDF, but it's one of those things that's really long and you have to have your attorney present to figure these things out. Sometimes this legal ease, I think, is done intentionally. So if you don't agree to it, you can't get anything, so you really have no choice. So I accept, and I'm going to go next. Now they 
asking me if I want Norton anti Norton antivirus, and I don't. I have something different. So I'm going to check no and go next. Okay, CenturyLink is asking me if I want to be informed of any changes or scheduled maintenance, and uh, I don't think I want to, so I'm just going to click next. My modem is capable of transmitting wireless signal so that my laptop, iPhone, etc. will work. I don't want to do that because I have an airport and that's right now where I have it connected into the airport. So um, I'm going to right now say no disable wireless and then I'm going to click next. Okay, Here they're asking me if I want to save the important information which is my account number and uh, I want to continue without recording this information because I have it recorded elsewhere. Okay, now CenturyLink's asking me if I ever need any of their software. They're telling me how I can do that. And currently, I have no desire to, and I can always go to CenturyLink and get it in the future. So I'm going to just click Done. Well, it looks like we're all done. I checked my email, which still seems to be working fine. The modem, I did a speed test, and it was 10. And uh, right before we installed this modem, I was at 1.2. So I'm 10 times as fast on my internet now. So progress is being made. 10.73. Wow.